jobber to organize your business. So let's say one day Connor McDavid calls you and says, hey, can you come my lawn today? I'm like, sure, of course, Connor. But I realize that my employee Tyler is already out in the field. So I use jobber, assign him a new visit for today to cut Connor McDavid's lawn. But I realize he might not get that. He might be in the middle of cutting the lawn or something like that. So I have to either pick up my phone and call him and hope he picks up or hope he's constantly checking his schedule every 10 seconds to see, oh, do I have a new visit? Has my schedule changed? Something like that. And so we realized that the best situation to fix this would to be enable push notifications. So as soon as I create that new visit, he gets a new notification saying, hey, you have a new visit oh, yeah. at 5 p.m. to tell him, go call Connor McDavid's, McDavid's lawn. And so then this is how we built that. Yeah, so uh, our project is uh, called Harold. It's half moose, half angel, due to a angel drawing that went horribly wrong. Um, <laughs> and it proclaims things to users. So um, Harold kind of reads right now, Jobber, Jobber is primarily a Rails application that has a RabbitMQ event stream that you use for an audit log and a whole bunch of other subscribers. And one of these subscribers is Harold. So Harold latches onto our RabbitMQ event stream and starts funneling everything into this conveyor belt of lots and lots of events. Um, but what we really care about, if, if let's say um, Chris is moving Tyler's visit from tomorrow up to today because he, he's giving like favoritism for people he likes, um, is that now this visit has moved from tomorrow up to today and we need to send Tyler a notification. So we have a subscriber to like particular types of notifications that like adhere to shapes and whatnot that kind of create a substream of visits that have moved. Now the reason why we're creating a substream of our mainstream is visit being moved is a pretty simple event, but there's more complex ones that you need to start debouncing. Maybe for a notification to fire, you need to see a visit deleted and then re-added. So we, we do have a substream for each of these. The one we're going to talk about today is much simpler than that, just so we can kind of get through it, but we do have this substream here as well. Um, once we get through all the logic of the substream and the debouncing and whatnot, we end up building a text notification with other links and whatnot, which we then broadcast out to we, what we call multiple proclaimers. We have Firebase, which is what is going to send Tyler his notification. Uh, we have a console, which is just really useful for me when I'm programming because I can see what's going on. And we have analytics just so we can track what notifications are getting sent, are users getting value out of this, and everything like that. So um, I'm going to show you a quick demo of this, I hope. Um, Oh, that's not where I wanted it. <coughs> um, sorry, give me a second. I full screened this and I'm not used to that. There we go. So we have this visit for tomorrow with Sam McMouse. And it's going to suddenly get really urgently moved up to today at 10 p.m. So I'm going to drag it over here and just drop it. And you will see if my Rails server stayed alive. Oh, this isn't going to work because we're not in the office anymore. My IP is different. Mm. That's true. <laughs> um, I, I can I, I can do this somewhere else. I'm going to. So now we're, now, we're, now we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants here. Um, I'm going to create a new visit for today at 8 p.m. Um, for oh, this person. No, not that person. This guy here. And we are going to assign it to my name is not that long. But that's a really long name. And now if I create this job, you're going to see, if I unlock my phone, we have a push notification right here that I can open up and see in the job app. All about. So that makes Tyler's life much easier. Um, so from a more technical point of view, what we're doing here, if we kind of come back to our diagrams, I'll show you off one, I'll show you one of the subscribers off here. Um, so this is one of, this is like a fairly simple subscriber. This is a visit was moved on to today. Um, so we have this kind of crane here, which is filtering things. And that's represented right here with the different filters that we have. So first of all, we're still in beta. So we're going to select only our beta accounts, make sure the visit is relevant to that. Um, then we're going to ensure the event type. This just makes sure. Oh, <laughs> thanks. And so this is going to make sure that the event is of the right type. It's a to do. It's a sign, it's like been modified, everything like that. Um, and finally, we're gonna make sure that it is 
been moved to today, which is what we really care about. So Tyler's getting timely notices and not ones from like three months from now. Okay. Um, finally, our building proclamation is going to construct a message, um, which is going to have our proclamation text. Um, I'll link out to the visit that they care about. And then we're going to send that out to each user that's assigned to that job. Um, so the reason why we chose a microservice for this is being a core Rails application. Rails doesn't do great when you have like long running like sync jobs out with uh, third party services and JavaScript is really, really good at having like big long like observable streams of events that are going to happen asynchronously. It's never waiting on anything. So we felt like having like an observable stream conveyor belt would be a really nice way to do this. Thanks for watching. Exchange.js is Edmonton's JavaScript meetup. Subscribe for all our videos, then stay informed by following us on Twitter and meetup.com. Links in the description. Thanks to our sponsors, Jobber and Clio. Do your part to support the meetup and like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.